No, I'm not. He's not married, Mom! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yo, it's me, Chris. As you guys can see today, I'm wearing the same gray hat like usual. <laughs> I've also got this black tank top. I own 20 of them now, or 30, maybe 40. I don't know. I've lost count with this guy. Ah! Hey, it's me, Curse, aka King of Spears, aka Woo! Belt Different, aka Chubby Rain himself in the flesh of the guy your mom is always talking about. Your mom gets a little bit of. <laughs> your mom gets a little bit of. Whoop, whoop. Your mom gets a little bit of. Someone's got to give it to her, and it just has to be me. But hey, enough about that. We are going to be doing something right now that's considered the hardest task on this planet. Shh, don't tell anybody about it. What are we doing? What is it? What is it? Watching a movie. What movie are we watching there? Kindergarten Cop. Oh. Another Arnold movie. Another Arnold movie. Wow. I'm excited because I love Arnold. Yep. He is the greatest. True. He is the best. Yes. If you think otherwise... You are the opposite of all those. Agreed. But you know who's also the greatest and the best? The people on the Patreon, of oh. course. They are also the best. And for those of you who are subbing to the channel right now, you guys are also best. the best. The best. Around. No one's going to ever keep you down. But then we have those of you who are not subbed to the channel at this very moment. Ah! Ah! You guys are illiterate. Ah! You're stupid. Ah! You're a mistake to the human race. But hey, we can fix that right now. You could become part of the human race, the proper human race, the human race that has brains, that has brains, and even has brains. Brains! You can have a brain of your own if you sub right now. Sub right now. Get a big, voluptuous, thick, wrinkly brain. Ooh. Sub right now. The choice is yours. Be stupid or be smart. Do it. Now! I kind of like the crayon thing. I think it's like chalk. Look at that. Oh, there he is! That's my man. That's my man. There he is! Whoa. Look how handsome he is. I don't like the glasses, though. It's fine. Don't worry about it. There it is. Kindergarten cop, baby. Bad guy with a ponytail, man. Yeah, they're either bald or have ponytails. Almost looks like uh, Terry Silver from behind. <laughs> Yo, they just don't make bad guys like that anymore. The, the ponytail bad guy is kind of dead. They, they've gone extinct. Yeah. No longer allowed. Now it's all bald people. First it was the ponytails, now it's the bald people. Yep. Truly sad. We're gonna go beat him up. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> did, did, did they just call him a shithead? <laughs> you said you had information about my family. Yeah. He sounds yeah, bad. I do. Well, it's gonna it's gonna cost you. Like a thousand dollars? A thousand dollars? That's aiming low, bro. My boy. Look great. It's a real nice, healthy place where they're living. Astoria Elementary School, Oregon. Oh, there we go. Did you tell anyone else this? No. No way. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, I'm not stupid, Mr. Chris. Yes, you are. Oh. Yeah. You know? Told you, Damn, man. dude. He had it coming. He trusted the ponytail. A mistake. Danny. Oh, Danny peaced out. He's out of here right now. He got too close to the Matrix. <laughs> hey! 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 Stop it! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Wait, really? she doesn't have much of an option. This man is crazy. Look at him. He wants to kill me. You're just gonna stand there? Freeze! I'm a cop, you idiot. <laughs> Detective John Kimball. <laughs> We'll see about that. I'm checking it out. Oh, look, I just want to get out of here and go home. You will. Right after the lineup. I'll drive you home afterwards. No. I'll even buy you dinner. Yeah. Come on, Cindy. I'll even cook you dinner. What do you say? Whoa! Whoa. Oh, all right. That's what I say. I'm down. Shit. All you have to do is point your finger and we can put his ass away for 30 years. It wasn't my boyfriend. I hardly knew the guy. Oh. Oh, no. She's a leech. You're in there. A loser. <laughs> Wow, isn't she lovely? Kimball's been on this a long time. Oh, hi. Let me take care of Cindy. Damn, that was rough. Jeez. Left her hanging. Jump of your car and take her for a ride. Let's just say I'm not going to offer to cook at dinner. On the bus. Yeah! Oh, excuse me. I forgot to introduce myself. Yo! My name is John Kimball. And I love my car. Yo, man, I'm just gonna keep an eye on it for you, all right? 
Shit, who do you think he is? He look at him and kick his ass. <laughs> Man, he, he has a shotgun, my dude! What do you mean kick his ass? He's gonna blast your ass! Yo, dude, Kimball's so dope. Oh my god. I know. That's why he wears the trench coat. And the shades, it makes sense. Hey, yo, the thing on the left looks like Diary of a Wimpy Kid. <sighs> okay. It does, actually. Just, like, even worse than it looks. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Can't come in. Shaking, man. <laughs> Why are you staring at me like that? I like you, Cindy. I'm gonna be around you a lot. Days, nights, oh. weekends. I'm oh, gonna damn. hang out with you until the end of time. Oh my god. He's very convincing, I'll tell you that much. A very terrifying man. I don't know if it's the words or the shotgun. <laughs> Could be a mix of both. You know what to tell. I'm your mother, aren't I? Uh oh. It runs in the family. What's mama gonna do? We travel, experience life, oh, no. and meet interesting people. Chris. Yeah. Okay. Get him. Get him. Get him! Hey! <laughs> hey, give me that! Need it too. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, all right. That's it. Ram it up his ass. If you don't stop screwing around back there, this is what I'm gonna do with you. <laughs> I like that. That's how we do it. Just don't feel so good. Are you hungry? Come on, get those tree stumps out of my way before I vomit all over you. Is it morning sickness? Nah, it's probably the sandwiches. Maybe. Is your wife okay, sir? Compared to what? <laughs> hey, yo! That was so rude. <laughs> my God. Oh, man. I think that sandwich gave her food poisoning. Maybe. You need a hand? Yo, what the hell happened to her? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I feel so bad for her. All the way there? Dude, that's nice. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Just carries her. <laughs> What's the matter? This is my ferret. He doesn't fight, don't worry. He has a pet ferret. The ferret was just in his pocket the whole time? I guess so, yeah. Is that like his wacky sidekick? <laughs> Kimball and the ferret? Yeah, when the going gets tough, throw a ferret at him. Oh my god. It's like she's a corpse, oh my god. <laughs> Dude, if anybody sees this, they're calling the police. How do I look? Take off the gun. No, the gun's cool. There's two. Get some rest and don't worry. They're six year olds. How much trouble can they be? Take the gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I sent you to the principal's office because you punched Jenny. I know she poisoned your hamsters. And you only punched her? Yo, I knocked her clean out. You poisoned my hamsters, you're dead. I'm poisoning you. Yeah. Just wait here a minute. Sounds like hell. Truly a nightmare. Your teacher, Mrs. Hagley, had to go on an important trip for a few days. Did she die? she went to see Good question. <laughs> this is Mr. Kimball, your new kindergarten teacher. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. Quiet. <laughs> I need to go to the bathroom. Okay, we can go. Boys have a penis, girls have a vagina. <laughs> you might be onto something. Thanks there, buddy. for the tip. <laughs> I need to 
go to the bathroom and I can't get these things off. And why are you wearing it? It's a trap. I get someone to help you. I'll be right back, okay? <laughs> Pretty what these kids do. These kids are a bit, uh... First day? Yes. I'll take care of her. Thank you. That's nice. Oh, that's great. You know, kindergarten is like the ocean. You don't want to turn your back on it. Everything is under control. I doubt it. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god! What is fighting Godzilla? The <laughs> <laughs> oh, little monsters! We are doing this. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh my Why? god! Oh no, he's losing it. Uh, this is it. He's gonna let it out. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> this is your new class mascot. Oh! This is, your dog. This is not a dog. <laughs> this is a ferret. What's a fairy? That's a ferret. Oh. oh. Good, now we're having fun. Smart, bring in a pet. Very good idea. Kids love animals. He's dead. Yeah, that's it. Boom. Nah. He's a zombie or something. Oh my god. How'd it go? Go away. <laughs> <laughs> They're horrible. <laughs> Hot take, man. I think he goes in next to you at the shotgun. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah. It works well with the uh, the addicts. So it'll work well with the kids. Exactly. If the kids like to ferret, wait till they see a shotgun. Is that your new teacher? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't want him to see me without my makeup. None of us are wearing <laughs> You're married. You're allowed to look like slobs. Whoa! Hey, yo! Just call him slobs! I was wondering if you might have a minute. I'd like to speak with you. All the moms want to speak to him. Hmm. You see, Sylvester's father doesn't live with us anymore. And, uh, and I've just been worried about Sylvester. He's been acting a little strange lately. You know, doing odd things. Like what? Playing with dolls. He uses the dolls to look up girls' skirts. Caught him doing it yesterday. I'll keep an eye on him, okay? Thank you. Does Sylvester ever see his father? His father lives in California. Whoop! Well, right, it's far away. Mm -hmm. Target acquired. Well. Are you married, Mr. Kimball? No, I'm not. God. You mean you eat other people's lunches? Stop it! <laughs> Ew! <laughs> you dropped a deserved. <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, I have a headache. It might be a tumor. It's not a tumor. <laughs> <laughs> What's with that kid? <laughs> My dad repairs red cars driven by women who have pinheads. Cool. My dad doesn't do anything since the crash. What? My dad, my dad okay. doesn't live with us anymore. He lives in New York and drives a taxi. My mom hopes he's going to die real soon. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! No one of the kids the way he is. Our mom says that our dad is a real sex machine. Ah! Hey, whoa! Yeah. Good. Did your daddy teach you this game? You mean car oh. crash? Car collisions? Leave me alone! It's a fire alarm! Yeah! Come on! Hold on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> the kid's screaming excitedly, I'm on fire! Yeah. Dude, I'm telling you, children are just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you can see a soul just leaving his body. I can't imagine doing this kind of job. Hi, there'll be four of us. Why did you tell you you're my sister? Relax, Butch. The love doctor is here. Hey, yo! Whoa. It's a two-for-one mission, I guess. What made you become a kindergarten teacher? I mean, it is a bit unusual. Well, well John is a bit unusual. Well, well, well you are. You are. <laughs> my father was a teacher. My mother was a teacher. Ah. So is Ursula. Yeah. So we have a tradition in Austria where we follow the footsteps of our parents. 
I got tired of teaching teenagers. I realized that the real action is in kindergarten. Huh. Huh. So that was quite a good answer, actually. That was actually a great answer. Yeah. You gotta handle this like any other police situation. You walk into it showing fear, you're dead. No fear. I wonder how he takes that. What's his no fear? Today we're going to play a new fun game. Oh. It's called Police School. Oh, no. I'm going to be your sheriff. You're going to be my deputy trainees. Your kids are soft. You lack discipline. Yes. You're not going to have your mommy's run behind you anymore and wipe your little douches. Oh, no. It's time now to turn this mush into muscles. Yeah! No more complaining. No more Mr. Kim Flip to go to the bathroom. Nothing. There is no bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> They get toy back to the carpet. Oh uh, no, please no, please. They get back! Woo! Alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Alright, we're building muscle. Considering their little legs, that's actually impressive <laughs> to do the tires. Yeah. <laughs> wow! Okay, that's, that's actually uh, impressive. That's good. Nice. All right, all right. I like how one kid's just like laying there. Oh damn! All right, take your milk. It's looking strong. That's it. We distribute the goods. Yep. Milk for now, but when they're older, they'll get beer. We all like this one, and if you're ready to start now, everybody will go to sleep. Thank God. <laughs> True salvation. Finally. I like how there's still paint on the chalkboard. Yeah. Why is he just sliding into view? What a nightmare. Yo, for real. Yo, he's got a tall glass of milk, too. I was wondering if he'd like to come to my place for dinner tomorrow night. Ooh. Hey, yo. Ugh. You got a little mustache. Ooh. Whoa! Ooh, there. Whoa! Damn. Well, sure, it's just dinner, lady. It looks like Kimball's gonna get some work in later, too. <laughs> hey, we gotta get cardio in, baby. <laughs> Call it dessert. <laughs> Whose car is this? Oh. oh, it's blasting time. Oh, baby. Freeze! <laughs> <laughs> it's Henry Shoup. My fiance. Oh. Here, John Kimball. Oh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> right. How you doing? Let me uh, just get this now. I'll be right out. Yeah. Right. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm John Kimball. I'm Zach's teacher. I've been leaving messages on your machine. I'm sorry. Things have been kind of hectic. Well, what about now? Go for a little walk, Zach. Your teacher and I have to talk for a minute, okay? Wait, he just got in. Where's the kid gonna go? He's gonna go for a walk. What the f I suppose you saw the bruises on Zach's legs. Huh? My husband has started counseling about this. He's been going for three weeks now. He's beating you too? Oh. But if he wasn't going to counseling, I could see the point of saying something. But I'm sure there's not going to be any more occurrences. You won't say anything, will you? That's, um... If he does it again, I press charges. That's it. Or we do the next alternative. Take matters in our own hands. We kick his ass. That's it, man. Give him the Kimball special. That turned out to be worse than I expected. Oh, my God. Yeah, I was not expecting that. Explains yeah. why the kid's very, like... Doesn't want to interact awkward. with anybody. Because, yeah, he... you know, dad beats him and his mom. Like, my God. Hey, yo! Pretty nice house. This house is bumping. What the hell? Wow, this is quite a place. Belongs to a friend of mine. After the divorce, he said, Dominic, and I could stay here in exchange for keeping the place up. Can you start a fire? I think this should be a problem. Yeah, I'll show you where the wood is. All right. We're going to start a fire. Come on. <clears throat> okay. What's this? Who's that? It's a laser, and I'll burn a hole right through you. Sick. Yeah, oh, don't shoot. <laughs> don't shoot. <laughs> I put up these lasers to protect us. Protect you from what? The bad people. Bad people? Is he like hiding E.T. in here? Like, what's going on? <laughs> That's kind of creepy. Rotten banana. 
rotten banana thing, me, you little snot-nosed idiot. Yo, damn, he's really sneaking around fast. Kimball is nimble. That is it. Kimball is nimble. Well, what you doing in ah! there? Sorry. I'm Sorry. lost. Where is the dining room? I mean, this house is huge. Oh, me silly. Truth is, Mike's husband is a walking nightmare. Found out where we were, and he tried to kidnap Dominic. He doesn't know where we are now, and I'd like to keep it that way. Of course. Bed is in France. He doesn't live nearby. Ooh, that was smart. He doesn't live in France. And there it is. I can't even believe I told you. It's the Kimball effect. That's it. You have to promise me you won't tell anyone. Uh-oh. Um, about last night, Ooh. I've been thinking about it. Hey, oh, yo. Whoa. Hey, yo. I'm glad I told you all those things. Wow. So am I. Um, I, I better get going. Yeah, the kids are going to be suspicious. All right, Mr. Kimball. See you tomorrow at the fair. Looking forward to it. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah, Kimball, you sure are looking. Hi, Chan. What's the matter? Oh. Oh, no. It was an ass kicking. Oh shit! How you doing? Yeah! You hit the kid, I hit you. You bastard! Yeah! I'm sorry. I shouldn't have hit the man, especially in front of the children. It was a mistake. I checked you out. There is no record of you ever having taught at any public school in California or anywhere else. Uh oh. I have no idea what kind of police officer you are, but you're a very good teacher. Hmm. Nice. We got that respect. What did it feel like to hit that son of a bitch? Yeah! It felt great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, who would have thought? Who's surprised? Yeah, we got the, the goats, the ducks. The goats? The sheep? The clowns? The, hey, yeah. That's a sad-ass clown. Oh, yeah, my God. I could do without the clowns. I'd like to introduce you to our kindergarten teacher. He came to oh. us as a substitute. He's getting some respect. That's it. Respect has been earned. Let's welcome him into our community and hope that he considers staying on a permanent basis. Oh, that's rough. Yeah. To be accepted so uh, openly, and it's just like, damn, dude, I gotta get back to blasting some fools. Uh oh, ponytail. Back again. Nice town. He even sounds like a piece of shit. It's even in the way he walks. If Joyce is Crisp's <laughs> wife, she's gotta cooperate and tell us about the money or she gets no police protection. Nice, huh? Bastard. I can't. Ursula, how are you? Perfect timing, honestly. Oh no, how do you do this? Your police officers, if you know who you are, Rachel. This is some kind of joke, right? No, this is no joke. You took three million dollars. No, I think you've got President Crisp knows where you are. He could be here any minute. Where's Dominic? He's in a pony. He's fine. The only way we can offer you protection is to tell us where the money is. There is no money, you son of a bitch. There never was. Uh-oh. Then why is he after you? He doesn't want me. He wants Dominic. Hey, snap out of it. That's interesting. Maybe the kid knows where the money is? Oh yeah, he's gonna get him. You bastard! Where's Dominic? I don't know what happened. No, you let him, Joyce! If he is Dominic, I'll kill you! Stop it! God, let go of me! We'll find him. Stop it. Kill him. Kill him. We'll find him. Dominic! Did he say anything before he left? I don't know. He's probably in a secret hiding place. No, he's laser. probably going to the tower, dude. Yeah, see, like, the it, bad guys can't get me if I put my laser yeah, up there. It's the hiding place or the tower. Yep. Yeah. Jeez, dude. I, I, I would have rather the hiding place, honestly. Whew. Yo, that was a big bird. It could have just swooped up and got him. Pick him up and fly him away. Yeah, there goes the movie. It's over. <laughs> oh, he's got his tinfoil. Nice. Yep. Gotta blast the bad guys with it. Yep. There we go. I'm pretty sure aliens don't like tinfoil either. What if he gets electrocuted? <laughs> he just drops down. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh, shit. Oh my god! Oh, Never devil. trust a bird! No. Just hold on. He's not right that here. high up, he's okay. It's an inside job, it's a government drone. <laughs> <laughs> it's not actually a bird. <laughs> I swear, you will never have to run from him again. I'm gonna blast him! That's it. 
And his mom, too. Hey, yo, hey, oh my god. Yo, we're just diving in. I tell you, man, Kimball's nimble. That's He's getting true. in there. Everything's gonna be fine, Joyce. We just wanna be extra careful. Woo! Hey, yo. No fear. Thanks. Boys have a penis, girls have a vagina. <laughs> oh my god. Is that just like his go to icebreaker? I guess so. He likes it. Wow. You taught them the basics. <laughs> We're gonna talk about strangers. Like, let's say you're at home. Stranger danger. Oh. You should never answer the door. Never. Hey, How about say... kids? Can we talk to kids? No. Yeah, it's okay. You can talk to kids. That's all right. Oh, okay. What about dogs? Huh? You can talk to dogs? Can we talk to dogs? No. <laughs> you can talk to dogs. That's... Oh, you can? Oh, damn. Dog whisperer? That cigar out. It's unhealthy for the kid. Dude, don't tell me you're going into the school with. Oh. You're going into the school with a six shooter, my guy? My man, this is a bold uh, strategy there. I guess he's not a man of the arts. All right. I guess not. Screw art, I guess. Okay. Oh, he's going to set a fire. Oh. Then why did you need to crumple up the art? Probably just hated it. Kimball, the hallway's full of smoke. Okay, this is a fire drill. Come on. Fast. Yay, the ferret! Always gotta save the ferret. It's always different when it's the real thing. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Stuff the ferret in. Ferret time! Help! Stranger! Stranger! Yeah! Stranger danger! Get him! Get the stranger! Point to him! Yeah, that's it. Oh, oh, oh my God. Ooh. Oh boy. All right. Yeah. Stop, just listen. I'm his father. You stole him from me. Please don't do this. Give him back. Don't to touch me. him. Oh. Dominic. Yes, of course. She was talking too much, Dominic. I had to punch mommy. Bro, that's so funny. Oh my god, yeah, so Yeah, when, when mommy starts talking, daddy's gotta start swinging. He's not your hostage. <laughs> He's your son. I drop it. On the floor. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! Yo! The ferret came in clutch. Told you, his wacky sidekick, the ferret. He saved the day. Oh. Oh god! Shoot mama, shoot mama. You gotta blast mom too. Where's my grandson? Go to hell. Oh! Oh! The baseball bat always prevails. That's it, man. We beat the shit out of them. Hey, how's everybody feeling today? Listen, I brought some goodies for you today. Oh, god damn it! Whoa, it's a big basket! I didn't recognize you with all your clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, Henry! You're coming to the wedding, right? Is it safe? <laughs> Hi, kids. Mr. Kimball! I'm back. Yeah. He's back! He had to say it. Woo! Whoa. Dominic, close your eyes! God damn! Okay, okay! Alright. So we just finished watching Kid the Cop and Cop. It was a good movie. Very good movie, very good movie. Um, like I said, uh, nothing is more attractive than a man who's willing to shoot and kill your ex-husband, I guess. Okay, yeah, especially that. when his uh, partner also takes care of the in-laws. Hmm. Yep. It's a wombo combo right there. A lot of women are just like... <laughs> <laughs> One of them exists on this planet. Yeah, but I like how in the end, like the, the ferret does kind of become the hero. Attacking a uh, crisp. Dude, his name is so dog shit. I'm sorry. His name... Yeah. He's like, he, again, he's got that Terry Silver look to him. He's got the ponytail, the jet black ponytail. Yeah, but it's kind of sad in a way because, like, you kind of find out, like, just the well, why he is the way he is and why he's he was, so he obsessed. Was a, he was brought up in a very abusive kind of thing. And why he's so obsessed with having his own son is because, you know, he kind of wants to give his son a better uh, childhood than he apparently had himself. Yeah. As but his hey, mother just seems super controlling but, and abusive. But it seemed like his mother was just going to, like, Kind of uh, just repeat, rinse and, uh, rinse and repeat kind of thing. Yeah. He was just going to do the same but thing. But he wasn't any of the wiser because he was still in her grasps the whole time. 
Oh, sad to say. That was yeah. the thing. He, he never actually grew up or got away from it. No. And, it's, um, it's very, you know, it's, it's kind of like, it's very, it, it's not that out there. It's just, it's very sad to see that uh, Crisp is only evil because of the way he was raised. Pretty much. You know. No positive role models. No, no, duh, you're going to end up the way he did. Yes, sir. And yes, I, sir. No, it, one to keep, no one to keep you on the straight and narrow kind of thing, you know? Nah. And plus, having, like, someone who's super controlling usually just makes kids or people in general kind of, like, be more defiant. Yes. You know? I, it never really helps to be that controlling. But, you know, I, I really like the whole thing of Kimball having uh, no choice but to become the kindergarten teacher. Yeah. And how yeah, he used, yeah. like, some, like... He used, his own, he used like, uh, things that he learned while he was in the fort, the police force. Yeah. He kind of used those kind of teachings and, you know, to kind of, like, get the kids in order. Well, kind get, of it was very chaotic, well, It's, man. like, basically teaching the kids discipline. Yeah, that's what well, he know? said. We're going to get discipline. We're going to get no more we're mush. Gonna... Now we're getting muscles, muscle! baby. That You know what? What I would have given to have John Kimball is my teacher at any point of my life. I agree. I would have given it all. Given it all to be under his guidance. Lucky kids, that's all I can say. Imagine Very... the freak beast you would be by now. Bro, I wouldn't be human no more. I would have far surpassed humanity as a whole. Oh, man. It's true. I, 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 love, I love Arnold movies. Every time we watch an Arnold movie, it's a fresh reminder of like, I, I absolutely love this I, guy. I'm so biased, man. Like, I don't know what it is, but I just, I love seeing Arnold. Arnold movies are so good. They're always entertaining. I always, they're fun. I, that's it. They're I just always pure fun. Them. And Arnold, he's a good actor. I think he's a great actor. Dude, I love the part with the kids on the plane and he snaps the pencil on Yeah. Him. Like, that's going to be, I'm telling you. This movie basically reinforced why I'm terrified of children. I, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I can see that. Kids are There's scary, There's nothing man. worse than kids that are being a bunch of jackasses and the parents do nothing about it. That pisses me off. Hey, if I ever have a kid, I'm telling you, they will never be doing any of that. You'll never see them do that. Uh-uh, not on my watch. They'll have muscles, no mush. Yeah, and if they act out line, I'm going to be like, not my kid. They're an angel. No. my I know my kid can be an asshole. I know he can. He's not getting scot-free. No. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. That's it, man. But, um. Divine uh, punishment. My favorite part, though, was him beating up the abusive father, though. I wish he just slugged him. I wanted head. more. I was like, that's Dude, not good. If I wanted him to take him out. Like, ram just... him through the... The car itself, man. Exactly. I want to just, just, just destroy boom. this man. That's it. Well, there's a guy. You know what the worst part is? He didn't even look that tough of a guy. He looked like a coward, which all of them usually are. That's the yep. sad reality. They're yep. always these pipsqueak, loser looking ass dudes, man. Yeah. They're all the same. Yep. Just tore him. You should have just uppercut him and knock his head off. Oh, I would have just took him and just ripped him in half. Bang! Ah! Split him down the middle like a goddamn cheese string. You're done for, buddy. You're out of here. I like on the end, he basically... He had no choice but to end up becoming a kindergarten cop full... Uh, well, kindergarten teacher full time. Dude, he got shot in the kneecap. That knee's done. Yeah, yeah, there I mean, ain't no I mean, way... It's not a bad retirement plan, you know? Or a new... um, Or swapping careers. Well, I guarantee you he would have healed, you know, through uh, physiotherapy. Dude, I don't know, man. Like, like back. he got it right in the knee. He got in the knee and he got in the chest as well. So yeah, like, exactly. You know, I, I think specifically the knee injury. It's just like... By, you can tell he fell in love with the job. He genuinely enjoyed it. I mean, it's yeah. very interesting because when you meet him in the beginning, he's tough. He's grown. Oh, he's dude. A, he's a lone wolf, you know, he kind of thing. And now he's surrounded and filled by tons of people who love him, who care about him and stuff like that. It was just yeah, like, that, completely that, like fresh, new kind of environment. They just love like, having his presence and everything. Yeah, it was like a fresh environment of something new he's never had in his life. And it made him realize and appreciate it so much. And he realized like... Mm -hmm. Man, what I was doing before just wasn't it. it yeah, wasn't it? And, you know, and I, I'm pretty sure it's like he understood why he lost his uh, his son. You know, it's because, because, of, because of that of attitude. It's probably because of um, he put the he probably put police work before his family. Yeah, and he didn't realize he didn't realize how deep into it he was until he lost them. Yeah, it was, uh, wasn't, yeah. Go get go get Big Moogie. Big Moogie. Bring Moogie and show the people Moogie. Show the people. Moogie. They want to see Moogie action. Bring the Moogie. Moogie is not a tumor. It's not a tumor. It's not a tumor. Moogie! Big oh, Moogie! My god, look how cute she is. Oh, oh, I'm the cutest little thing that's ever existed. Oh, 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 oh. We love you, Mugwai. To the bed you go. Mugwai, to the bed you go. Kindergarten.
regarding Cop Man. That Dude, was a good movie. I still like the beginning a lot when he literally uh, just goes around. Bro, he just I shows felt up. like I felt like I was watching a Terminator movie. He just shows up to the club with a shotgun. I was like, huh? Yep. I like when the guy was like on his car and stuff like that, and he just like, whips out the shotgun and introduces him. To, Allow me to introduce myself. <laughs> Has a shotgun in hand. Bro, if anybody does that, I'm out. I'm, I'm getting out of there, man. I ain't no, no rotten banana, done. man. I'm out of there. Done. That's it. I'm out of there. Mm mm. Mm mm. But the whole beginning was really good. I loved it. It was just like, it was just like, it was like, it was almost like just your traditional Arnold action movie. Right mm -hmm. in the beginning, it was just blasting people, getting stuff done. Mm -hmm. I genuinely like that so much. But then I, I still like the kindergarten stuff, scenes and stuff like that. It was pretty nice. The kids were really funny, though. Uh, the so kids were hilarious. Really? Like, the know, one kid who always had to reference death in some way. Very, uh, very sketchy. Like, these kids were like, again, good child actors. Good child actors. Yeah, especially kids. the one that was, I think her name was Emma. It was like the, the oh, one that had to go to the washroom. Yeah, oh my dude, god. When he was like yelling at her, she's like, I'm a princess, I'm not a cop. Like, Don't sit down! He's like, bro, I thought okay. she I thought she was gonna burst in the chair. Yeah, I know. I was like, oh my god. But she took it like a champ. So, okay. She had the muscle, she didn't have the mush no more. No more mush! No more mush. We are not mush in this house. We only are muscles. Only muscles. There's not a single ounce of mush in our brains or anywhere, actually. I don't know. I like the movie a lot. I, I, you know what? I could honestly just only watch Arnold movies for the rest of our channel, and I would be happy. Really? Oh yeah. Just an Arnold marathon. I feel like I think you know it's not even a guilty pleasure. It's just it's truly a pleasure watching an Arnold film. I think his movies are some of the best. Some of the best movies you could ever watch. They're I all agree. entertaining, and not just that. A lot of them are different in their own way, kind of thing. You know, again, this was a very interesting um, idea, and once again, I couldn't see anybody else do the role but Arnold. A lot of Arnold movies, I could not see anyone replace Arnold. No, no one else could be the Terminator. No, no one else. Could, no God, one no. else could play Conan. No one else could do it. No, no one else could do it. Just it's just like he feels like he's like literally a unique individual, and you can see like for even though his English isn't the best, you know, especially in his earlier films. Yeah, it's just like he just screams charisma. That's you look at him, you're just like wow. It's not even it's not even the physique or anything like that. It's genuinely him as a person. He has this aura about him that's just like Yeah. And it just alone it's just like wow, it makes you everyone wants to look at him, kind of thing, you know? He's, I guarantee you in his entire life, every time he walked in a room, he's one of those guys he walks in, everybody notices kind of thing. Yeah. That's it. No. Literally, uh Built different. Built different. Uh probably the closest thing we'll ever have to a god on this planet, in my personal opinion. Yeah, Arnold. He's done the world a favor. He uh he popularized uh bodybuilding bodybuilding you know strength training and all that stuff. Like, i think one of my favorite films still to this day is um what was that movie he did like with lou ferrigno pumping iron pumping iron i think it's still to this day one of my favorites absolutely pumping iron is a masterpiece. pumping iron is an absolute masterpiece it's so good that's I mean, one it, of my favorite films i have to rewatch that again it's it, it is one of my favorite films it's genuinely such a fun movie to watch it's so pumping good iron. you know that's why i love like, that's why i really like arnold you know, you know, popularized the whole entire bodybuilding movement. Like, he started it. He really did start the... Mm -hmm. You know, there was bodybuilding back in the day, but I feel like Arnold really brought it into the forefront, especially with him in, like, movies and stuff like that. You see this big, like, hulking person with muscles and stuff like that. Well, the, act, well, the action heroes having to be in great shape. Yeah, you know, even, St even said... St Stallone helped. Arnold started it. Stallone helped. It was just like, you got to see, like, yep. they actually look like people, like... Arnold's physique, though, was, like, the real, like... When people saw it, like, wow. I, I love the golden age of bodybuilding in Arnold's era. In bodybuilding, now they look kind of like freak beasts. They almost look like they should be put in the vet or something. Like, <laughs> they go to the vet? Yeah, they go to the vet now, man. It is, I think... I, it, I, like, sometimes they have, like, a, the, I, the weird, like, muscle bellies and stuff I, like I, that. I think it's just the steroids that they're I think using. it's overconsumption or overuse of it. Yeah, it, man, they, they, like, they don't look Back natural. into the golden era, maybe even the silver era, but I, I really like the golden era of like Arnold's arrow like you said with Lou Ferrigno and all that mm -hmm. man amazing even Ronnie Coleman and stuff like that these guys had oh, lightweight baby <laughs> ain't nothing but peanut <laughs> that way baby I'm not, I uh, love him well, we're going like, off topic we should probably just stop we're gonna stop guys sorry when I get into that kind of stuff man I kind of lose myself yeah. anyways that's it from us we that's love you it. all we're gonna peace on out like crisp Mr. Crisp, crisp. boo boo, Adios. boo, -boo. see you never bye bye Woohoo! <laughs>